Welcome to Face Fusion. So what exactly is this software? As the name suggests, this software allows us to merge faces. It lets us perform what's called a face swap, which means taking one face as a base and changing it to match a face in a video. For instance, putting this face onto this girl's face to make a swap. We can also alter age, change expressions and do various other modifications. That's essentially what this tool does. It's quite an interesting piece of software. All right, how can we do a face swap using Face Fusion? Well, first we need to upload a target. In the target section, we can upload video, image, anything. I'm going to upload this 18 second reference video. Next, we'll be uploading a source. The source is the reference image we'll use to modify the target. I'm not sure which image to use. I've chosen this girl's photo to test it out. It'd be interesting if the face, I picked a very different face to see how it works. As you can see, it's changed my eyes quite well. It's also changed my lips, as we can see. Even my nose has been altered. The face brightness is also quite similar. So we can advance this preview and take a look. It's loading now. After a while, it should load my face. There's the face change. See how similar it looks? This is the before, let's see if it previewed. This this is before let's see how it looks in profile and after should resemble this face theoretically there we have it well it turned out a bit strange it's about trying different images can we upload different sources no i think just one once we have it we just hit start and that's it we also have the face enhancer section here it improves the face once we're happy with the swap this way the face looks better in the final result we can see the quality is much higher now i've chosen a frame that's not the best example let's see if it loads but the enhancer makes it clearer to see that much higher quality there it is now it's much more noticeable you can see it so that's how we can perform a face swap or can we perform a lip sync okay to do a lip sync in face fusion I've uploaded a source and target. As you can see, it's done quite well. First, we need to select the lip syncer part. Second, we need audio similar in length to the video. This video is 18 seconds long. I'm testing with 11 laps. I made a two second audio. Now I'll try to extend it. I'll use GPT to help me do this. There it is. To keep it simple, I'll just hit generate and it needs to be about, about the same length. It's 13 seconds, the video was 18, so we'll save it. Now I'm going to upload the audio. As you can see, I've uploaded both the image and audio files here. Now we just need to wait. Theoretically, we don't have to wait. I can hit start on the instant runner to see if it processed the output starting now, but I'm not sure how long it'll take. Important to note while I'm exporting, when you export, make sure to do the output set. Remove the video out. This would be the video architecture and such, but here you can choose how you want it exported, like speed output quality and frame rate. Sorry, I meant video resolution here and frame rate there. I mentioned because it's taking a while now. You can adjust these if you're just testing like I am. We unfortunately can't play this video. Well, I've been waiting 1500 seconds, but you get the idea it would sync the lips with the girl's voice how can we recolor with infusion face we have a black and white image or video and what we'll do is basically select the frame color right this button here will process the black and white video okay we're seeing the face you see after coloring it theoretically not sure how well it'll work but let's look at the first frame it's black and white now but after processing it should be colored let's move forward to see another frame here this is a tree this is a house this is how you can colorize a black and white video. It uses old camera color palettes, so it's not too bold. The colors, even if different shades, it's low quality, but so is the original video. Just a note, so that's how you can colorize. How can we improve the result quality in Face Fusion? If we're not satisfied with the result, we can use Face Enhancer to improve it, like it's doing now with coloring. There's no face here, but if there was, we could use Face Enhancer to improve its quality. If it's glitchy, we can use Face Debugger to fix any issue. We can also use Frame Enhancer to improve the overall image quality. Let's see the result. It significantly improves the quality, not just by a little. Keep in mind, this will make processing and exporting take much longer. You can see the difference, right? Here's the original video full screen, and here's the result without full screen. Again, original video then result. The result looks better than the original. It's almost absurd how much better it is. Let's look at before and after, if it loads. We have many settings here to adjust things like the mask selection and more. No mask is selected now, but you can test different options. How can we age someone using Face Fusion? For this, we're basically going to upload a video, okay? Of any person, it doesn't matter who. Look, I'll use this video I already have, and we're going to click on age modifier, okay? Age modification or modifier to be precise. It's changing colors because I have frame colorizer on. One moment, I'll click on age modifier, okay? Age modifier in the processor section. Below, we'll have the age selector section. That's where we'll change the person's age. I'm not sure what age is set right now. 
Honestly, I'd like to remove the frame enhancer. Let's select an age here, say 28. I guess if I do this, it's uh, 27 to 33, right? That's kind of the face it gives me. I'll try to select a better frame. There it is. Let's make them older, 99. Okay, important. The age modifier is here. Am I mistaken? This selector helps face fusion easily change faces and perform face swap. So we have the age modifier here. Excuse me. Let's add 50 years under the processor section. Now, it seems we're not going to... I'm not sure if I need to wait for it to load. It sometimes takes a while, but it's not really processing. I'll enable the deep swapper, which I disabled earlier. And I'll add the face swapper. That's what I wanted to add, the face swapper. It's basically what changes our face. Now, I don't have a reference face selected right now. Uh, with face swapper and age modifier, deep swapper isn't really needed. With the age selected, we should be able to make this person look older. It's not doing it in this case. We could use face enhancer to improve the final result. They haven't modified my age. I've even given it a reference and all. But well, it's ignoring me. I assure you this is what needs to be done. Maybe the server isn't powerful enough to process the image. Even the enhancer isn't working, okay? Don't worry. If we exported it, I'm sure the result would be good. So that's it. Just do this to modify a person's age. And finally, how can we export a project we've made in Phase Fusion? Well, after we've made all our adjustments, we'll simply go to the section below. Okay, as you can see, from here we can select the format we want. All right, we choose the format for the temporary file, but also the output. Okay, that would be from here. We choose the audio format. Okay. We choose the video format. Honestly, these formats are fine. H.264 is the standard. I don't get why they didn't use normal audio format names. They're audio encoders, but still. Then we have the preset, okay? How we want it. Ultra fast, very fast, and so on. Then there's the most important part, the output, right? If we want 4K, 2K, 1080, 720, and so on, right? We can choose the quality, max or not, okay? This is more about buy trait than quality itself. Set this to maximum. Higher resolution means longer export time. Got it? It's obvious. Lastly, we have output video FPS where we set the necessary frame rate. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this guide on face fusion. See you later.